This post will look at how the addition of very small amounts of narrative information can dramatically improve the visual display of graphical information. And there should be a side note that initially I thought some of the ideas here might have been original, but I was re reading some of Edward Tuffy's books last week, and well, it came no surprise that he already discussed all this many decades ago. So this is just an application of these ideas to clinical information. Let's look at an exercise summary here where our goal is to generate a visualization in the electronic medical record that communicates a patient's course in hospital. And specifically, let's just focus on the fact that we want to show that a patient has had two consultations on one day. The first way you could go about doing this is something I'm calling data collapse which is where you might have an x-axis on along the bottom and then that has the time and then perhaps up on the y-axis you could have different categories and consultations could be indicated. You could put two dots in the appropriate spot to indicate that two consultations occurred on one day. And you might have other spots to be able to show when lab investigations or notes or imaging was done. And this type of visualization might provide a very general high-level overview of the patient's encounter with healthcare and their healthcare usage, but it doesn't really provide much information regarding the patient's clinical narrative, what's actually going on. So we could look at a second version, which I'm just calling minimal data. And in this case, we're actually including the specific words, neurology consultation and rheumatology consultation. Uh, that's, you know, the addition of these, you know, two words, neurology and rheumatology, has dramatically increased the value and information communicated in this visualization. Now we actually have a beginning to understand the type of care this patient is receiving. Well, why don't we just keep adding more information? And that takes us to version three, which I'm calling useless data overload. We could add a whole bunch of discrete data points, which we could pull from the medical record. We could say who requested the consultation, when it was requested, the location it was performed, who the attending physician was, the data was completed, et cetera, et cetera. And as you can see here on the slide, you know, we can add a lot of discrete data, but it doesn't really communicate the patient's narrative. It just complicates the screen. It takes up a lot of space. Well, we could now move to the fourth version, which I'm calling outsourcing the problem. In this case, we continue our approach of uh, showing that a neurology consultation occurred on April 3rd, 2021, and a rheumatology consultation occurred on April 3rd, 2021, but we include a link to the full uh, written consultation request and a link to the full consultation notes. Now, in theory, we've outsourced the problem. Visually, we don't, we aren't cluttering our, cluttering our display. And if someone really wanted to delve into the narrative, they could go through and read all of these documents. But this isn't practical if one's trying to get a summary, uh, efficient and succinct overview of the patient's narrative course. We've just kind of outsourced the problem of saying, well, all the information is there. If you want, you can go reread through all of it. So let's look now at what I would like to call the fifth version. And before we get into there, I also want us to observe that to date in versions one through four, we have a very limited understanding of what's actually going on with this patient. We've presented, you know, in the previous version three, a lot of information and facts. In version one, we presented very few pieces of information, but we still don't really actually know what's going on or what this patient's clinical course is. So let's look at version five, which is single sentence summaries. This approach uses a single sentence summary as a micro narrative. And these micro narratives can be attached to discrete pieces of clinical data, such as a lab draw, a summary of a patient's stay in hospital, or in this case, a consultation. And we can then use these micro narratives, these single sentence summaries stored in discrete ways in the medical record to rapidly generate useful summaries of the patient's clinical course. So in this particular example, we could include a single sentence to explain why the consultation was requested. So 
let's look at the example. So we have here example A, 2021, April 3rd, neurology consultation. Neurology consulted to evaluate the patient's increasing confusion. Hmm. We learned a lot more about this case with that one sentence. We have the second data point, April 3rd, 2021, rheumatology consultation. Rheumatology consulted to assist in the inpatient management of the patient's autoimmune medications while in hospital. So we already have uh, understanding now about this patient and a lot more information than before. One of the other important points, though, of single sentence summaries is that it allows us to understand the narrative arc of a patient's clinical course. So let's look at the same two data points, a neurology and a rheumatology consultation that occurred again on the same day, but let's only change one of the sentences and see how it changes the information communicated. So uh, in the second example, the neurology consultation is the exact same. But the description on the rheumatology consultation reads, neurology has requested rheumatology's assistance in the treatment of a new diagnosis of lupus cerebritis. So we see here that we have a dramatically different patient narrative on why rheumatology was involved in the patient course. In the first example, it seems that maybe rheumatology was just consulted as a courtesy to uh, assist with the inpatient management of some complex immunosuppressants that were being used with that patient. In the second example, we see there's diagnostic momentum towards a consideration of lupus arbritis, and maybe that's the cause of the increasing confusion, and maybe rheumatology is being asked to, I don't get involved in co-treating this patient with neurology. But what we can see in the conclusion is that the use of single sentences has summaries, these micro-narratives, have dramatically improved the information communicated. They don't take up much space, they're very fast to write, and they add a new type of narrative linking information to the clinical record that is otherwise not captured in the current electronic medical record. And this ability to succinctly demonstrate a patient's clinical course in a hospital is unfortunately not possible. Medical records, EMRs, contain lots of factual data, which was example three previous to here, where we saw that it didn't really add a narrative context to what's going on. Or medical rec records contain large amounts of unstructured notes, which was kind of example four, where you could just read the whole consultation. But again, it doesn't uh, achieve our goal of uh, efficient visual display of a patient's clinical course. So I like single sentence summaries as a way to discreetly link um, to, to link discrete data points to the narrative context. And you can use these uh, types of information in different ways. You could actually generate a graphical visualization of a patient's clinical course and overlay on that graph or time series these single sentence summaries with the data points, or you can just display this as a text only format in a linear format, kind of how we're displaying in this example here today. So you can use it in graphics or you can use it with just text, it's very flexible. And one thing in particular that I like about this approach is that it, it links the sets of actions and facts together. So these examples A and example B show the same two facts, that a, a consultation took place with neurology and with rheumatology, but in the two examples we see there's a very different set of circumstances around the events that lead, led to these um, consultations. And so if we were to find out, let's say, I don't know, two days later, that lupus arbritis is in fact very much the wrong diagnosis and that some overly zealous junior medical student made the mistake during the initial consultation, this somehow misled the teams down the wrong path. In this case, by using these single sentence summaries, it's very easy to review the chart retrospectively and see potentially where the diagnostic reasoning error might have entered into the story and uh, look th kind of correct the flow of information from there. Anyway, in the future, we could look at how single sentence summaries could also improve the display of lab data and really communicate a lot more about labs than simply the data points provided. Thank you.